Hi. Ready for some garden chores? Yeah. So on today's agenda, we're going to water our plants. We are going to prune up tomatoes. Uh, also, we're going to uh, get some more dry grass on these beds. Yeah, we got a really cool gizmo that we hook up to our lawnmower and Aldo collects grass clippings for us so we can do this to our garden and not have to weed as much. Pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. I know, they need a little bit of love. Of so why is it good to garden barefoot, Andrew? It grounds you, removes free electrons from your body, from the electrical system of your body. So it's a good thing. It's like yeah. free radicals. Nice. All right, let's show those bare feet. <laughs> the big monster feet. <laughs> yeah, you got monster feet. Play I don't, I don't feet. know about your feet, I'm, I'm walking away. <laughs> Here's the little gizmo that we got, a grass clippings collector. Mm -hmm. And Andrew mowed the lawn, and he kind of let it dry out in the sun. So we're gonna apply it to our beds that need it the most. Probably so. I'll just pour in a mound. You can kind of see our blueberry bed here. It's kind of getting infested with weeds. So we're gonna throw down some of this dry grass, spread it out, and it'll smother the weeds. And it's gonna add some nutrients to our soil. We're getting ready to put some mulch down on our artichoke bed and there's a snake caught on our <coughs> netting. We're, let's see if we can save him. Oh, poor baby. Okay, we got him out of the net, but I'm not sure how we're going to remove the net that's caught around his neck. I'm not sure if he's poisonous. We should. Let me... Let me get some gloves. Some gloves, just in case it's a poisonous snake. See if we can cut the net that's strangling the snake. If you know what kind of snake this is, let me know in the comments. He has like, kind of like some white stripes along his head. Well, not really stripes, more like speckles, and he's kind of like blackish. I know. Yeah, his neck is all tangled up in our net. Hoping we can save him even if he's poisonous. That's some legit wildlife netting, Andrew. Oh, catches wildlife. Oh, poor little snake. He's like, I don't like this. Try not to poke him. Might want to hold him closer. Yeah. I don't think he has fangs. He's not even like... Oh, trying to attack you. Maybe it's a garden snake. He was found in the garden. He was. Aw, how long was he trapped in that net? I don't think too long. He doesn't look like he's dehydrated or anything. Yeah, but he looks like he was strangled in there. Yeah, I know. He's, not through. he's got a little bit back here. Hold on, buddy. All right, he's free. Good job, Andrew. All right, uh, release him just a little further from the garden. Right there's good. All right, buddy. Feel free. You're free. Be free Slither away. <laughs> <laughs> Save the snake. Did my day. good deed for the day. <laughs> First day I garden barefoot and I come across a snake. I am putting my shoes on. Okay, we're gonna go grab our materials so we can tie up the tomatoes and prune them. Let's talk about tomatoes, guys. I'm through here and pruned our Roma tomato bed on this hill. And I'm reaching the end here. Let me show you my tomato routine. It's really easy. I'm going to give you a couple of tips on pruning, um, how to have successful pollination, and what to do if you see some pests on your tomatoes. 
You can see here some beautiful romas growing. All of the flowers in that cluster are producing tomatoes. And I have here another cluster growing. Now if you have a problem with bees, this is what you can do to ensure you have 100% pollination. Just grab your plant and jingle it like this. And what's going to happen is the tomato is both female and male within the same flower. The pollen is going to travel down because you shook it down to the little stem right there and it's going to pollinate it and voila you're gonna have a tomato growing in maybe a week or two. And now we'll talk about tying up the tomato. I like to train it to grow on one stem. So I'm gonna tie it up over here. And then what the tomato is going to do is it just naturally wants to form side branches. Now those side branches are called suckers. They're going like this right here. I'll tell you how to be able to tell them apart. With suckers, if you don't remove them, all the energy is going to go towards making a sucker, which is basically like a whole nother tomato plant. And you're not going to get as many fruits. So you want to pluck that out so you can get a bunch of these beauties. So your tomato is just going to keep on growing up vertically on one stem. And then its leaves are going to grow at a 90 degree angle. So you have stem right here. And then you have your 90 degree angle which is your leaf. And then the suckers right here grow in between that 90 degree angle. They're growing at 45 degrees. You kind of want to take that out just like that. And I know I see some little flower buds on it. Just remove it. Trust me, you won't regret it. Now I'm going to remove some of the lower leaves. All of the leaves I'm going to remove right below the very first fruit that is forming right here. Now there's going to be more energy going towards making tasty and more fruits and I have room in the future if I want to plant some small plants here like lettuces or beans or carrots. Final tomato tip is I like to do a once over for pests so when I'm pruning them or tying them up I flip their leaves over and you can see right there. That is aphids. So you can spray them down with uh, soapy water or insecticide or you can just squish them by hand. I like to squish them by hand just because insectal soap can keep away the beneficial insects. So let's go on ahead and squish them. Ew, kind of gross, but in the name of tomatoes, I do it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That was a lot of excitement for one day, so I'll see you next time. I think the chickens will appreciate all these tomato clippings. By the way, we moved our chickens out on the field, and we're gonna put up our portable fence soon. That is my call so that they know I'm bringing them food Hi girls, what are you doing? Hi, what are you doing up there? Okay, <laughs> what are you doing in the food? <laughs> you girls like your salad? I think that is a yes. Look at her, she's square dancing.